the show may be awkward, but <laughs> actor Kofi Sirabo is anything but. Kofi, welcome to Arise 360. Thank you guys so much. Hi, thank, you, thank you. Okay, so you play a Rwandan exchange student with Correct. a British accent, and you're actually from Ghana in real life. Correct. I'm oh. actually from Ghana. Really? All right. So tell us how you landed this role. Oh, man, so I was here in New York, mm -hmm. actually, and they uh, started the casting process in L.A. I wasn't, I wasn't able to be there. My brother actually casted for the same role, and he was Ooh. in L.A. So he calls me, he's like, yo, got this big audition, I'm playing a British dude, da da da. I'm like, really? I got the same audition. Oh. <laughs> I got the same audition, uh, good luck. <laughs> Family but, um, drama, yeah. I but love it. I'm used to it, because he's my older brother, he's two years older than me, but we're really similar in like height and appearance, so I'm used to it. But um, I got the call, I sent in a tape, and, and they liked it. They were like, okay, we really like it. Work on the character a bit and then uh, send in another tape. Send in another, and for me, it was just like, okay, you're really gonna play a British guy on TV, like sure. So I wasn't really putting too much pressure on it. I kind of mm -hmm. just did it and let it just, you know, be. So um, I sent in the tape and, and then I got another call and they're like, okay, we really like it. Now we want you to Skype with Greer, who um, you guys just saw. Yeah. She plays my sister on the show, so. Me and Greer Skyped, and from there, it's all history. I got a call while I was in Union, Union uh, Station, and they're like, yo, you booked the job. You got the part. Well, let's, let's talk so about ha this part. what happens, though, when you get the part and your older brother doesn't? I mean, do you break it? It's like, break, it's like a it? Tia Tamara Mary Word. moment. Right? Yeah, but they're twins. Like, do you break it to them, break it to your it brother so, easy, or, or is so it, like, really competitive? Look, and you're honestly, like, yeah, they went with a younger version. What was, <laughs> right. What was the call like, or the text, you know, or the tweet? It's crazy, because he was up for the role, too. It's not like he just was a part of the audition yeah. process. He was literally, it was like between me and him. And I didn't find that out until I actually was on set. And the showrunners are like, so your brother's Kwame Watson? Because we have different last names, so they never knew. During the casting process, they had no idea we were brothers. Wow. So I found out once I was on set. So when I called my brother to let him know I booked it, it's like, hey, big bro, like, <laughs> what up? How are you? <laughs> so I booked the job, da, da, da. And you know, because there's so much love, like he, he ultimately was excited for me. Obviously, there's some disappointment in that. And I've dealt with it with him booking a role over me, but at the end of the day, it's all family, you know? Well, I love that. Yeah. The, the, the um, operative word is ultimately. Yeah. Ultimately, <laughs> ultimately the yeah. happiness came well, around. Well, let's talk about it. You're yeah. one of four new characters on the show Correct. this season. It's Correct. in its fourth season. What's it like being the new kid on the block? <sighs> Man. It's, it's like being the new kid in school. It's okay. just like, they've been together for four years, mm -hmm. and, and luckily the new showrunners are also completely new, so yeah. I didn't feel too like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Everybody was super welcoming, yeah. and um, it, was, it, was, it was great. Like, it's been five, six months now. Like, I started shooting in January, we're, we're in May now, and everybody's like, it's, it's love, it's all family. Have you heard from African fans? Have you heard yeah. from Rwandans? What do they it's, say? It's starting really slowly, because my character got introduced in the first episode, and throughout, like, I think we're on the six episode now mm -hmm. but slowly my character begins to pick up and then it's like okay people are starting to recognize it and recognize the character and recognize me so it's slowly building up and slowly I'm starting to realize like on social media fans from all over are like oh my god you're the kid who da 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 yeah. so, so your like, following is yeah, building it's like, yeah, it's how many followers do you have I think what? I have like 10,000 on Twitter okay. which is nice and growing yeah, and growing, and growing. Nice. And growing. yeah it's nice so it's your nice. older brother's an actor Correct. and we had your younger brother on the show Quasi, he's yes. Quasi he's yes, also yes. an actor so like what is your mother putting in the Kelly Welly? I don't know, Kelly Welly is a Ghanaian dish. It's like a Ghanaian <laughs> finger food. It's very spicy, gingery. It's really good. But I'd clearly, she's Thank putting you. something in your Kelly Welly. I mean, what is it? Honestly, I feel like they have so much energy themselves that mm -hmm. it just transferred on, on to all three of us. Okay. Like, like, literally, I just feel my parents, just they do so much. My dad's so into fashion. My mom is just, I, I don't know if you were able to meet her, but she has so much energy. She's just always talkative and just all, she was an entertainer herself when she was a kid. So I just think naturally, it kind of just, just transferred over blood. to us. Yeah, in the blood. DNA. Now, we, <laughs> speaking of your blood, we mentioned your uh, Ghanaian uh, lineage. Right, right, right. right. Um, we asked uh, your brother this. What's it like being an African prince? <laughs> I mean, you don't get to experience that here in uh -huh. New York or in L.A. because nobody knows about that or really uh -huh. understands it. But just me knowing, it really helps me just feel grounded, I mm -hmm. feel like. It's just, it's just like to know you're from something much bigger than just L.A. or America, which is fine. But yeah. just for me personally, it gives me just something to look forward to. I can't wait to, like, really dive down that heritage. But do you like, wake up and look in the mirror and say, I'm royal? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> not That's at what all. I mean. I haven't tapped, I would. I That's haven't why tapped I'm into that. I haven't tapped into that. It's really more of just like a knowing, and then yes. again, it just makes me feel really like humble. Like, I just, it's, it's overwhelming to even know. 
you come from something like that, you know? You know, African actors seem to be having a really good run as of late. Everybody from Lupita to Chiwetel Ejiofor. What do you think of that? You're in really good company. I mean, personally, I just feel Africans have that hustle, man. Like, they came to get it. Like, like, like people are are very complacent when, when, you know, things are happening all the time Mm -hmm. here in L.A. or here in New York or wherever it is. But um, I feel when you come and you're just, you know, trying to get something, you're here to, to prove a point. It transfers into your work, it transfers into your energy, and it, it shows. Like, I, I mean, as you see, it shows. It sure does. Yeah. Well, we're going to be seeing much more of you. I know it. Don't I you so. think so, I Patrick? think so. I so. Real okay. quick, what's next? Um, What's next? What's next? What? Uh, I don't know what's next. Well, because you're working. You're so busy working oh, now. Oh, actually, what's next? I'm in New York right now modeling. Um, when, oh, I'm not, when I'm not acting and, and not shooting the show, I come to New York and I work with Wilhelmina. Um, so we're I'm shooting, shooting on the I'm catwalk shooting, and definitely, the pages. Definitely. I'm shooting something in Fire Island tomorrow. I just heard it's beautiful. I've never it been, is. so I'm looking forward to it. Right. Is it? I love Fire Island. Yeah. <laughs> don't. We, know you, we know you do. All right. Well, thank you so much. Pay. Wait, what is Fire Island? <laughs> you're going to find out, my friend. It's hot. <laughs> and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.